welcome back everybody to season one, episode 30 of Seven Days to Die Survival Series. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming, and last night we had our horde night. Uh, if you missed it, please check it out. We made it quite interesting for ourselves, that's for sure. And today we are going to start uh, actually repairing the base and getting everything ready. Hopefully it will only take us one day to get this organized how I want it. Unfortunately, the digging and stuff that we need to do will take us a lot longer. But if I can at least get our traps going, I would be more than happy. All right, we're going to get going on some repairs. Uh, some of the things that we wanted to do was add some railings over here because we noticed that we were doing okay up top versus everything except the birds were kind of giving us a hard time and I think being able to exit the room will certainly help as well as uh, maybe not have to go up there at all if I'm able to stay down here because the birds won't hit me here because I'm in a cage so yes I know I'm making it out of wood but I already had wood bars so I figured I might as well use them and upgrade them. It's going to be about the same. And I had to make them anyway, so we might as well. And um, I think this is looking okay-ish. I mean, I don't like how these intersect at all. Uh, maybe I'll find a way to, to fix that one day. But for now, it's fine. You know, nothing can be perfect. I just want it to be functional for now. I want to finish the space. I've considered actually not leaving this as a, as a walkway but I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do about that so for now I guess it is a walkway <laughs> and uh, we'll figure it out later we're gonna get these over here to get all these finished I need an insane amount of iron so we're gonna hit up that mine at some point today that's over there the first thing we want to do though is start putting up our fence posts uh, this looks looking okay, and I've upgraded some of them. I'm not exactly sure I want all this to be like this, but for now, it's fine. We'll upgrade these as much as we can. It is quite expensive, as you can see, so I'm not really uh, going crazy <laughs> right now. Plus, I am not even sure this will hold, I'll be honest. I'm not even sure that this is a good idea, first of all, leaving uh, the hole over there. And I'm also not sure that the zombies will not see this as a path now because it's blocked, technically. But I was hoping that would help me with the jumpers because they're they're kind of doing a number on me. So hopefully that will help me. We'll also finish this. At least we'll, fit, we'll cover it. And we are going to repair everything. It's Everything's in shambles. We're, we've taken a, a beating, taken damage everywhere. I would like to finish this here so that I don't have to worry about the backs or the sides of the base anymore. But, you know, things will come with time. This game is a lot of grinding and a lot of farming and <laughs> we're, we're doing the best that we can, okay? So we're going to start here. Uh, I will use the rest of the iron on these, I believe, the ones up top because I'm actually pretty sure that I want those there. And other than these, I'm not exactly sure that the rest will work. But, yeah, there it goes. It's already out, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Whether or not I wanted it, it's, it's done. It is what it is. They've stopped beating on the sides here. They didn't destroy as many of these as they did the first time. So I suppose that is successful. But the wood ones are obviously not going to last at all. So it's kind of pointless to even have them. But it's just an indication for us to know what we're going to do. And so that's why we keep them there. We have, however, made a lot of relays and electrical fence posts, and we're going to go put those down right now because I, I am very interested in making that work. Okay, this needs some repairs before I can pick it up, so I think, unfortunately, it's just going to have to go. The reason why those are not desirable over something like this is because these uh, don't require any watts, as you know, I'm sure and the other ones do so it's pretty unfortunate that they've made it that way but that's the way they decided to do it and so it's the way we're gonna we're gonna allow it we're gonna put this over here because if we put a door we can always put it facing here so it's not a big deal and we will connect that one to this one it's not gonna look the prettiest but eventually we'll have it Oof, it's gonna look really ugly actually oh i don't know if i can live with that it's just uh, so ugly. If I put it over here, 
my concern is, of course, that they're just going to spit on it and it's just going to die. Oh, but I don't know. I kind of wanted the sides to be open so I could come in and out at my leisure. But maybe I'll put a door there. I think that might be the best way to go about it, just to put a door there. All right, let's take you. Yeah, we'll put a door there. So we'll we'll use this over here. And that will look just a little bit better. So I'll be able to live with it, I think. Why isn't it going? Okay, perfect. All right, it's getting me. A, it was getting me a little bit worried. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't think it will actually make it from there to here. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere in the middle. And I think we realized that last time that that was just really hard to do. So uh, we can extend this a little bit, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out if having an extra layer here would make sense. And I think it will. I think it will. So we'll go ahead and extend this out to three, four, five. Thankfully, gloriously has not fallen. Hopefully it won't fall when I do this because that's a lot of weight. No, it's fine. Okay, perfect. All planned. You know, I knew exactly what I was going to do. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's only a four gap and there's a one, two, three, four, five gap here. Okay, so I did it wrong, but that's okay. It was almost right. Okay, and that is all that matters. Uh, I don't think I can fit one in there. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, success. Yes, okay, great. Look how, look how planned that was. <clears throat> yeah, it was. Okay, if I say so, it was. All right, so this ends over here. I wish I could end it in a more, uh, how do I put it? Yeah, it ended a little bit better, but it's not going to end there. What I could do is I could put a frame here and run it down this way. Now, I don't know why I would do that, but I guess it gives it a little more security. Now, the only problem is if anything ever gets to the edge, they could or they could run through this and make it over there if they were able to reach up here somehow. I mean, this thing will be much higher off the ground eventually, but for now, it would be a little bit of a security breach if they could reach over there. So maybe we will, maybe we will stop on that one, two, three, four, five, and then that's the sixth one. Okay. Interesting. Sometimes I don't even know what I am doing myself. I just kind of go with it. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it's a complete disaster. So, you know, sometimes you just have to hope for the best. And I think it would be nice to have, like, a little bit of an escape. I think this would be cool. But I don't think I can make it work, design-wise. I am not skilled enough to make it beautiful. So, it's just going to have to be that. Ugh. So... Just boring, you know? <laughs> Why can't I come up with anything better? Okay, for right now, it's fine. It's good enough. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to upgrade that. And we're going to do the same on this side. Now, something got beat up over here. It's unfortunate. That was probably just the, the charger over there. So it's no big deal. I was going to switch them anyways. Three, four. Please don't fall. Okay. That's cool. I love it when it works out. Okay, so that's not going to hold if I do it. I just know it for sure. Yep. I did that on the other side. And after five, they tend to fall. They're not upgraded. Please. So if you do it this way, it's just safer. It's just safer. After five, just do it this way. Trust me, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth all the, the resources you're going to lose. Four or five, and then the sixth one, you have to get support for that one. Okay, so perfect. We are going to switch over here. We're just, we're just guessing as we go, you know? There's no really a plan here other than to try to make it somewhat reasonable and the first thing i want to do is even test if these reach each other because that would be quite disastrous if they do not so oh, i don't want to get rid of the wire tool that's the worst one okay perfect 
So we'll put the post over here. And I guess the first post would be nice if it starts. Uh, that one will be the corner, so that won't be it. So this will be the first post. All right, wonderful. And if I'm able to test these two and they're able to work, that would be amazing. But now I realize that I should have probably tested one of the closer ones. <laughs> oh, why do I do these things to myself? Okay, so I'll do one over there and then I'll do a space and I'll do another one. Space and I'll do another one, but that one is broken. Yeah, if you missed last episode, uh, we cut it, um, let's just say a little bit close on basically everything. And as per usual, we were not done with the horde base when the horde arrives. And this was like really bad. Usually it's a little bit pathetic, but this time it was, it was really intense how bad it was. <laughs> yeah, sometimes uh, you don't prepare and this is what happens to you. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that will work. And I didn't just put that up for no reason. So I want to leave a space here and I will do it on this one. So that will be on that one. Very cool. And let me upgrade this really quickly just because it's going to give me the willies that is just hanging off the, I don't know, some rebar frame situation here. Now, my only concern is that they won't reach each other because they'll be too far. So that would be quite unfortunate. Uh, sweet, sweet experience. Please come to me. Okay, we ran out of fence posts. <laughs> of course, we're always short on something, but that's okay. Uh, we will go ahead and just test without it. Now, the best part about this sort of weird design that I'm going for right now is that hopefully I'll be able to block this a little bit and I'll put a, probably a block here of some sort. And then if I have darts, I'll put them up top. But that means that all the plugs will hopefully be hidden back here. And I am going to actually add one for every single one of them. Now, this is overkill, of course. But, you know, sometimes you just have to be, you just have to be safe. And we are going to test this out. I don't know if it'll reach, to be honest, from there. It's still pretty far. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to finish this off. And hope that this works out as I intended. Uh, my only concern with this is that it is pretty close to the base. So if they did want to use this as kind of a jumping area, I mean, it's possible. So, uh... I have to I have to consider my options here. I might have to kill that little area over here. Like the sides of this. I don't know. I like them, but as again, they're compromising. So we gotta do what we gotta do. Now the cups will spit up here, obviously, and there will be a back part to this, so that's why it's not gonna be this exposed. But um we will have this here and then a space will be an I don't need any more fence post after this right because it's what's it gonna <laughs> what's it gonna do it's not gonna do anything this can be just i don't know maybe turrets i, I can't i can't think of anything that better maybe I'll, I'll aim some turrets facing that way i don't know in the future i'll figure it out but for now um this will just be the area where that will go so i'll still keep it symmetrical i'll leave a space in between them so it, it only makes sense that it would be over here because that will leave one space, and then one space, and then another space, and then the end. Okay, so if this reaches to that, and then from that to that and that, that would be amazing. Oh, how did I make it? That was actually just professional. I don't think I'll make it this time. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm doing really good. I don't even have a point in parkour, but... Who needs it, right? When you're this skilled. <laughs> and making one singular lucky jump. Okay, so we will connect all these together. I'm not sure uh, what to do next here. I think this one to that seems like the best idea. And maybe that one to this one. So I think I want... Well, that one is crucial for all of them to work, obviously. But from this one, I can connect all these together. Oh, that sound is so satisfying. So we'll snatch these up together. And then from this, I will figure it out. But first of all, let's connect. Nope. 
cut you. It will connect you to you and him to her and so on. Now, this should be pretty safe because I think unless the main connection gets cut off. Okay, no, that one's cut that one. Okay, cool. Unless this main connection, we lose it, we should be okay with the with the wiring. Even if one of the boxes dies, I don't know. If one of the boxes dies, we might have a problem. I don't know. Look, we'll test it and we'll see how it goes. At the very least, I can tell you, this looks adorable. It looks so symmetrical, like I meant to do it right. And uh, I, one thing we want to do here is that we want to put a switch in the middle. That's why I kind of left this weird thing here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some doors on each side of this. It's going to be a little bit weird, but we're going to put like some, uh, maybe a hatch frame here. I don't know yet. Honestly, uh, we'll probably put a block. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, I am hoping that this will work out. We're basically guessing. I have hatch rings. I don't know why I'm making more. Just to waste resources. We'll put this over here. And this is to connect this to the other side. Now, I could do this fancy, but honestly, I just want it to be like a huge big block that will hold as much as humanly possible. Right, so we'll put that over there, and we'll put this over here. And I wanted to put a switch there, and I wanted to put a switch here. Now, I I wondered it. I guess I wondered it when you go back out here to do damage. So it might be good if this has some sort of damage potential. So maybe I don't want to close that off. Okay, let's just not do that. Okay, take it back. I'm not closing that. But I will close this. So let's. Close that up over here. And this side obviously has three. And these are the stairs. So this will need to be plugged. Okay, perfect. And I already started that one, so that's fine. So we'll leave it too wide here. And this will allow us to put, I don't know, blades or something here. And we can put some hatch frames. Or trapdoors or whatever. These iron hatch. If I'm able to make this work. Hopefully. We are experimenting. We are just guessing as we go. I think we have to put it facing out like this. Okay, well it opens down. <laughs> I guess I don't care how it opens. It's fine. I would prefer it if it opened up. But, you know, sometimes you just have to go for what happens. All right, and this one opens down as well. Okay, that's fine. That's so we can at least have access to that. And I don't know if it is exactly what I want to do, but it is okay, I guess. <laughs> so we'll leave it there. And there's a two white here, and then it would have a two gap. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll also do this, I think. I don't know how thick the traps are, but I can at least put some darts over here. Or if not, I can cover that up. It's fine. And I will want to do another one of these, another one of these iron hatch frame situations to do it over here as well. Now, all of those are connected, I believe. I don't believe they're all online because I think we have to turn on the power over here. I gotta switch this bad boy on. Oh, poor little guy. He is not doing well over here. That'll be, sh that'll be... It's just a little worrisome. Yeah, that, that light switch is vulnerable over here. That's interesting. Maybe I'll cover it up. Or maybe I'll put it on the other side. You know? Yeah, this is gonna... This is gonna ruin my whole system, but... Sometimes you realize that something is not working and you have to fix it. Because if you don't fix it, more problems will arise, right? So it's all good. It's all part of the process. And the process requires you to have a little bit of a brain and fix what you are doing wrong. And what you're doing wrong is putting that on that side. Now, unfortunately, all of these things here 
are uneven, so that means that I can't really place it so it looks nice and it makes sense. Oh, sometimes I really bonk it. Okay, so we have one out there that has to reach out to the front. Where is the best spot to put it that won't... That will make sense. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do it to here. Right? Then I would have to turn that on every time. Yeah, that might work. Uh, we'll see. Let's figure it out. Let's look at the generator. How are we looking? Our gas is actually doing quite, quite good. Thank you, generator. I still don't know what the battery bank does, but I'll figure it out one day. Okay, so that will switch on. And then you will connect to this one. And that one's on. And they're all on. Oh, wonderful. We have power again. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, obviously, we don't have all of these done yet but we have some done right so we can very clearly oh no oh no let's fill this in i'm gonna have to farm like crazy again i just feel it oh nice it worked uh okay so actually i don't want to do that because it's too far we'll use this one okay so we'll use that one to connect to this one and we'll switch that on. And we'll put another one over there. And then we'll do... Hello? Work. Nope. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Sometimes you can beg them, but they will do what they want. And we'll put it over here and we'll switch that on. Okay, very cool. Success. Okay. Crouch. Can we get it can we get it oh yes we did i don't know how because we did, couldn't even see it all right cool and then we will connect this to this very nice and i only have one switch left but that's okay because i will get more later and we will connect your switch to this although we should also connect that one to this now that i think about it that would be much smarter much smarter indeed and then now the moment of truth Will this connect to that? I don't know. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm going to shock myself in triumphant victory. Oh, wonderful. The feeling of success and also of pain. That was quite, quite painful. Maybe I will do this on a relay, you know, so that, um, or like a detector or some sort of zombie. So I don't shock myself every time I come up this way. But I think ideally what I want to do is just keep this on all the time. And I will just make myself a tunnel from there or further away into the house. That's just going to have to be it. But yes, we are successful. We have power and this is working. Now, the only thing we need to do is get more of these panels and get more electric electric posts as well as finish this up a little bit i'm not doing it again okay i'm not shocking myself again i will jump over it hopefully yep ah oh, parkour again but yeah we can flip this off whenever we want to and it will just shut them down and everything's fine perfect 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 it couldn't be going better it couldn't be going better had i planned it okay now let's go make some more all right, it is now nighttime and we got a little bit distracted putting bars around the sides here. Because earlier we had a screamer, like before Horde Night, and I just remember that it was like a pain to kill her. So I decided to put those down. They're just wood, so nothing too exciting over there. Uh, but, the, but the one thing we want to make is more fence bows. We crafted a little bit more ammo and we need to make more of these. Now we need forged iron and electrical parts. I don't know how much more of that do we have, but we have electrical parts. Oh, not too many, but we have some. And let's see if we have any iron left. Oh, we do not. We do not. All right, we have been cooking this up. Let's make some more forged iron if we can. Right, 65, that's, that's acceptable. And we'll get these going over here. Uh, do we need wet concrete blocks? I don't even know. I guess I would like to make some. 47 seems excessive. 
seems a little bit excessive. Make, you know what? No, it's not excessive. Let's make it. Let's make it because we want to put some railings over there and I think we're going to have to make them with those blocks. So great. I mean, it's all looking good. Obviously, I'm not done. I will connect all the fence posts before the night is over. It's happening. And also, let's see if we can make a blade trap. Now, obviously, I need that iron to cook, so I'll leave that be. But let's see if we can start making some of these because it's not that expensive. And we have a little bit of forged steel. Oh, uh, the problem is the parts, right? We're we're almost out of parts. Okay, we're going to have to go tomorrow on an excursion. Either we have to do um, like a repair shop or just go wrenching cars. We'll do that tomorrow. So yeah, no, no big deal. Tomorrow we'll have a little bit of a, of a journey. But let's get what we need to get done over here. We need like a one, at least two more posts if I can see correctly. Let's hope that this is made some by now. Nice. Porsche Iron makes so quickly. And we only need a couple more. Let's make an extra one because, oh, the electric parts. Yeah, fine. Let's make an extra one because in case, you know, something terrible happens and they'll, they'll inevitably break. And then we will make a light switch again. Can we make it? Maybe it's not called a light switch. It's just called a switch. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. And we need one mechanical part, which we do have plenty of. All right, perfect. And for that, I think we'll make three more. We can make one more. You know what? We'll craft it. Okay. So with that done, we will wait a couple of minutes, I guess, and then that will be done and we'll go back and place it. We are not stopping the episode tonight until we have all that down. Another thing we could work on is shotgun turrets. They're very popular and they're very good, but... Let's just look up turret. That might be easier. Yeah, there we go. We have the SMG, which is fine, but it also um, might take a lot of turrets. A night motion sensor. I think I can make those. No problem. But the shotgun turret. Shotgun parts. I think I have them. Or I should have a few of them at least. And it only costs three. So this is not too bad. I need a perk. What perk? Advanced engineering. Let's see. We might have some points. We do indeed. We do indeed. All right, this allows me to make augers and nail guns and stuff, but what th this thing doesn't tell you is that you need the freaking auger parts or you need the the power tool parts, which is such a bad game design. Why? Why do you do this? Why? <laughs> it's like... Please don't do that. It's so bad that you have to get some from loot first. If you invest all these points into it, why should you have to find the parts so that you can craft it yourself? It's actually craziness. But, you know, it's fine. At least for the level one. You should be able to craft the level one just without parts. That should be like your, your bonus or something for learning it. I don't know. But we have three whole points. And we are going to be doing a lot of mining soon, but to get this, we need strength level 7. So that means all our points would go there. So I don't know if that's exactly what we want to do. Uh, we only have one point in healing factor, and we did put a point in machine gunner to help us a little bit. But as you can see, we have a lot of points that we want to put in a lot of different things. I would like to make first aid bandages. That would be great since I seem to be taking so much damage. And the turrets would be nice. Okay, since we've spent a lot on turrets, we'll go ahead and put... We'll go ahead and put a point into this, or two. And we'll put a point in Physician. Okay, we'll buy this for the trader. We are quite salesmen. So we'll put the point into that. It's just random points. I didn't even know what to put them on. Okay, we made an extra one. So I'm not concerned. But this is wonderful. If we can get all of these to work, we're going to be in incredible shape. Okay. Well, for some reason, it's not letting it, but it's the same distance. Please. Okay. You know what? I am going to cut it and I'll figure it out later. Okay. 
so we'll continue over here connect you switch you on okay i believe these are connected a little bit better because they're connected to each one of those and then each one of those are connected to each other i think it's hard to tell to be honest but now the key is connecting these to each other and for some reason it wasn't working with the other one don't understand it because it worked for that one and they're quite literally the same distance apart maybe i just have to be in the middle yeah there we go oh, sometimes game logic right as long as you're in the middle i'll get no problem okay well i'll take it yeah it's almost morning but i feel like we have succeeded tonight just have done so much Perfect, 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 perfect. All these should be should be connected now. I can't I kinda want a zombie to come by so we can test it out, but they are not going to please us today, I don't think. And uh, so the next step would be to cover here. We could use this. What I was thinking is I would use this and maybe I would use the bars on the second and third one. But even if I put a turret there, I want them to be able to shoot out. So I think what I will do instead is I will put one over here. I think they'll still come up. I don't know if the AI will get wonky because it's really close to the ledge. Sometimes I get like this weird lag, but we'll just pretend it's not happening and move on. Okay, so as we experiment, we want to see if the zombies will still consider this like a, an actual path. Wait, I heard something. Could it be a zombie to come test our traps? Please? No. Ah, well, it'll come whenever we don't want it to. That's what's going to happen. Well, we're making right now the bars that we're going to use for this. But I think we'll use on the, on the edge, we'll use the regular. Over here. We'll use that one. And it'll be daytime soon, I know. And then it won't be worth it to keep doing this. But for now, it feels great. Now, unfortunately, I think this will be good enough to hold the zombies. Hopefully, they won't start backing up back there. And kill everything, but... Yeah, you know, you can dream. You can hope. Uh, the problem with this is that... I am going to have a hard time shooting at them from up top. I just realized that. Oh, no. Well, maybe I'll only use the top over here. Because I don't care if they start. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll test it. We'll test it. As, as always, it just needs some testing. And we just need some zombies to come by and please us a little bit so we can get this all working. Okay, so six layers of fence. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that will work. I don't know if this will work over here, but we're sure going to try. Yeah, the problem is when you fix this, maybe we'll just put the sides and we won't put the ceiling. I mean, they'll still be able to stand on top of each other, I think, but... It might be better than to put the ceiling here. Because if you put the ceiling, then I'm basically saying I have to be down there. I have to be at the front. And as we know, those traps do not like me in there at all. <laughs> and I like the idea of being up there. But I guess if it's going to be a problem, then it's going to be a problem. Okay. Well, um, we could also use the bars at the top. And I think that might be what we end up doing. We'll do this over here. But we should still be able to see them. Okay, you know, we're doing that. We are doing that. It's not done, obviously, but it's looking pretty good. If I say so myself, I I really like it. I don't know exactly if it's going to work, but it would be cool if it does. And I think for the spots in between, we were thinking we were going to do darts or we were going to do the turrets. But... It will work either way, so I'm not really too concerned. 
I am going to do this. I have decided. And I don't know if how nice it will look. I don't know. I was hoping to do the bars in between all of them. That's why I made so many bars. But then I changed my mind. Because that's what happens when I do things. I change my mind all the time. Nothing's ever planned. And that's why it doesn't work out sometimes. <laughs> but eh, we try our best. Well, that matters. Nice. Okay, so we definitely want to make blade traps. And I think that will be the next base upgrade um, situation that we do. But I do want to finish this little cage before we leave today. Just to be sure that we did get something accomplished <laughs> that we wanted to do. So we are going to go and get the concrete that we made here. We made way too many blocks. Just way too many blocks, that's for sure. And we have some more forged iron here, which I think... No, we need a lot more than forged iron to finish that, right? So, yeah, that's not happening. Just accept it. I wonder if I could make, like, a way down to that. That would be cool. Yeah. That would actually be very cool. Now, I do have to test something out. Okay, let me in. So, if I'm here... Yeah, see? The, uh, the, vis the visibility has... Oh, sweet. Oh, it's a crawler. No. Please, come test my... I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate it. It blocks the whole view. What is the point if it blocks it? I mean, I guess I could still shoot at those guys. But, I mean, there's no point on this up here. That's for sure. What's the point of having this here? I mean, I guess I could shoot at them coming down that way. I don't know. I guess it's just another spot. But realistically... Hey, hey zombie. This is probably going to be the better spot then. Okay. Well, uh, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Uh, the, the birds are going to come in here like it's no big deal. That's the only problem. And these traps are going to kill me. I'm going to have to go back to the traps on the side, I guess. No. Oh, it's, it's, it's difficult. It really is. Because it really only works this way. I'm going to have to remove those. Yep, I have failed. I have failed. These have to go. And they better go before it dries up. Because it's going to take forever to eliminate otherwise. That's okay. At least they're still wet. You know, we messed up. That's okay. It happens constantly. At least it's only three blocks and it shouldn't take too long to break down. Yeah, zombie, I know you're down there, but I am busy. How dare you? How dare you? I just want the option to be up top. And I think that's probably my best option in terms of dodging some of the damage from the... Oh, you monster! Oh, nice. <laughs> That's nice and convenient. Just completely piked to the head. Very cool. And I think this still works. Yep, they look online. Looks like they didn't damage it. So very cool. I don't care that that one's over there. That's fine. I, I The only thing I care about is that it's kind of high and a little ugly looking, but that's okay. And I think three high, and then we're going to do maybe some bars at the top. That would be better, I think. And we'll go back over there and test it out and see what it looks like. Maybe we'll leave it in in, in wood before we go and and try to do it all. But yeah, this looks looks solid. Uh, I wanted to make these bars over here, and of course, I'm gonna use the little bars. Oh, these pillars are cool too. Promise these pillars is I'm not going to be able to to shoot through it, right? So if I do want to put some darts or something through here, it's not going to shoot. So, you know, we'll go and do the pillars. It's fine. We'll do the poles. I think the only way the poles don't... Oh, yep. Yeah. that It already went the way I wanted it to go. How unfortunate. We could do it at the top side, okay? But I think the zombies could still walk underneath this. I am pretty sure if they break this, they can walk underneath it. So, 
no big deal. We'll just use the bottom part. And this will count as double. They'll see it as double, I think. I'm actually fairly sure they will. Oh, I hate when I miss it. Because it takes so long to get back there. Oh, and I did it again. <laughs> okay, slow down. Slow down. Perfect. Oh. I, I know I can do it on face or something and it would be easier, but... This way, I just know it will work, you know? And sometimes, that's all you need to know. Okay, so... Uh, realistically, the zombies only need too high to walk. So this third one is... It's unnecessary, completely unnecessary. So I wonder if I can do something to stop them from getting up top here. Like maybe we can make a bar. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. I think maybe I'll just make more of those. Okay, I have a plan. Okay, I have a plan. I think it's been set in motion by my brain and now it is what it is. I will, they will have three high though. So that is a little unfortunate. Or do I just leave it too high? But then that just dried for no reason. No, it's going to be three high. I hope they don't stack on top of each other. I don't know. This might be a terrible design. But sometimes you just have to try it out. Okay, I don't know how many more of those I want, but let's just make more. I hate being out of wood frames. It's honestly the worst feeling. Okay, so we'll use the half wood as well. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. And copy that. And this is the plan at the moment. It will work. It will work. Just have faith. And if it doesn't, then we'll fix it for the next Fortnite. <laughs> That's basically our, our whole life. Just fixing it for the next one. Okay, I like the little windows because it will allow me to put some darts there and stuff if I decide to do it ever. But I think at the top we'll make some bars, right? I could... Mm, I could just remove this, whatever I did over here, and just make the bars there because they will go up here. And then they will have extra room. It feels weird, right? It feels weird. But, you know... Sometimes you just do something that you don't know why you did it. And you just have to suck it up and accept it. Because it's now your reality, you know? And this is what's happened. I will put those bottom bars here, hopefully. And copy perfectly. Oh no, that's not going to work. Well, technically it will work, right? Because it will... It will block them. But I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh no. What am I going to do? I hate it. Nope. 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 Abort. 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 Okay. Claw this down. Quickly. Before it dries. <laughs> Mistakes were made again. Oh, why do I keep doing this? It's just too big. I hate it. Okay, it's fine. If I can claw this one out, the other one will fall. And then everything's going to be just fine. Why? I This is what happens when I build and why it takes me so long. And now I can see why everybody has such a cool base and I have a, a little shiitake base. I know. I know. It's because I can't help myself. Interesting. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I really don't. I feel like they can just somehow get through here. Eh, but it doesn't look like they can, but... I guess everything's possible. Look, I, I sort of like it, so I'm going with it. I don't know if it'll work. If it doesn't, then we fix it for the next one. As per usual. I, I missed it again. <laughs> please, game. Please. Okay. I've committed to whatever's happening over here. I can confirm that this will stop them at the top here. 
Now, the only problem with this is that the demolishers will come, and I'm fairly sure they're just going to destroy this here. So, I don't know. Well, whatever. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Shoosh. Sheesh kebab. Oh, well. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad from up there. Another day of building with Lainey. A complete nightmare. Oh, we're out of cement too. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Look, it looks a little bit weird. Not gonna lie. But it's got a little bit of charm. Like it's a little bit wonky, you know? It's just a little bit wrong. But I think that that's part of its its gloriousness. Now, the only thing I will say is that I do need this at the front here. And I know that's going to kind of ruin things a little bit. And I think that was all I was trying to stop from happening in the first place. But, you know, maybe I don't need it at the front. Maybe I can just do... Maybe I can just do these railings here. Yeah. Okay. I think that's probably okay. It looks a little odd, not gonna lie. It looks a little bit odd, but at least it's finished, okay? It's finished. <laughs> I mean, I need to upgrade these, but they should work. Finished. We are almost done over here. I think I can fully cover this. I don't think there's any advantage not to do that. And in fact, I think I can even go one step further there. And do it with the triangles. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. This might look weird. But sometimes we have to try things. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but, all right, cool. All righty. So, as you can see, there is an, a gap here. Well, there should be a gap in between these there's not going to be a gap where there's wires but there's a gap on the other ones i don't think this railing will hold unless i put it all the way through because i think it holds on to the to the next one so i will see about that see if i like it or not but the top of this remains open but i just wanted you guys to see kind of like the design i suppose that i'm sort of going for i don't know what it is it's like a galactic tunnel i don't i don't know what it's supposed to be it's just kind of what it's just the shape that it has taken as i as i went so this is what it's going to be uh the the idea is that there'll be turrets or something in there in those holes and maybe we'll do the railings maybe not i don't know but it will hopefully protect the actual switches and uh, other stuff from getting shot. If not, then it's not, right? If not, we'll just make this a whole like electrical wiring situation. and We'll make it the same on the other side. So it's still going to be a lot of building for the next few days, obviously. Uh, the horde is not for a few more days, so it's not a big deal. We can take a little bit break. This didn't end up looking exactly like I wanted to. It never does. Nothing ever, ever does. But as long as the zombies still find this as the track, it's fine. What is most likely going to end up happening is that um, the, the, something's going to explode these things over here. Even if I reinforce them, if there's a demolisher, they're going to blow these, these railings for sure. So I will have to make it like an actual tunnel. Eventually, I'll have to make it like a little, like a little uh, hood here. I don't know if I want to go modern or a little more, you know... A little more edgy or like a little more curvy. I don't know. Maybe I'll use the wedges like up there. But yeah, for now it will work. It will do what it's intended to do. But I will fix it because I don't know if I like it. But you know, it will work. It will have its intended purpose. Up top there, I can still shoot. And I think I can still see pretty well. So that's probably what I want to do. But if I do end up covering it fully, it will be here where I'll fight. And for that, I will need all of this to be fully upgraded, and I will need this to have doors. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about the traps, because they are destroying me. They really do. Every time I pass by, 
they really nail me. So maybe I just don't. I just stay on one side. I keep the door open and I shoot, shoot, shoot. And then if I need to, I'll retreat in here. And I will put the turret over here. Hopefully the birds will not eat me. And that is kind of the prayer that I'm living on right now. This space is starting to look up though. I am, I'm quite enjoying it. Of course, I need a lot more cement and I don't exactly know what I want to do with this tunnel situation going on here. I don't know what this is. I just don't know what it is. Whatever this monster is, is, um, it's a work in progress for sure. But we did do some upgrades to the base. We did finally finish the corridor somewhat. It's not exactly what we were hoping it would be, but it's, it's something. Oh, I just realized it's not really right. <laughs> oh no. Why do I have to notice these things last second? So I made the hole at the top, as you can see, but over here, it doesn't line up. So if I were to put turrets there, I can't actually place them unless I can place them on the, on the ramp. I don't know how those turrets work. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to place those turrets. And if I play darts, they're going to shoot at the wall. Uh, sometimes, sometimes. So, okay. That's good to know. You know, it's, um, it's progress. I get to take all these down now. Yeah, that's fun. Now, guys, we're going, we're going back. <laughs> we're going back. I know it's like crazy amount of changing my mind, but this is what happens when I build. And this is why I can't build quickly at all. Now, I've changed my mind about a hundred times, but this time it's for a good reason. Okay. So... When I put the darts, I don't have to put them on the outer one. I can put them on the inner one. I don't know why that just dawned on me, but it is actually something I can definitely do. And it would still look pretty okay. It would be weird because it would have like a hole in there, but you wouldn't be able to really tell. So it'll be okay. I like it. And that is the plan as of right now and as of forever, because that is what we're going with. And whether it looks terrible or not, that is what we're going with. So as you can tell, we're just going to use the dart traps in the inner part. I don't know how I'm going to reset or fix this if it ever breaks. I was hoping to put um, kind of a hatch on the ceiling. I don't know if that's going to be possible anymore, but we'll figure it out, I suppose. All right, I have to, I have to think this over. That's going to need some work. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching this episode. If you would like to see more episodes, please consider a like, a like or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, we have a lot of work cut out for us, as you can see. But I think this space is going to end up looking pretty cool when we're done. But yeah, I appreciate everybody who stayed and watched this whole thing. And we spent a lot of time planning out our base. So hopefully it will all pay off. And if not, then uh, yeah, let's get farming and let's get let's make this happen for the next Fortnite. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then. <laughs>